I, I lived on the other side of town and, you know, in, the, in those dark ages before the internet and that kind of thing. So I wasn't really familiar with the Mayfair until high school. When I was in grade nine, I came to the Mayfair and we just, we just lived here for five years. Like we, we, would, we wouldn't even say we are going to fill in the blank. We would just say we're going to the Mayfair. The Mayfair is a beautiful cinema. It's um, an original, um, uh, what do they call it, atmospheric theater. It's one of the last ones in Canada. And it's a fantastic venue to go and see films. It's too bad so many of them have been lost. In 2008, somewhere around the end of 2008, mid-2008, uh, it was announced that the owners at the time were, were giving up on the Mayfair and that somewhere in the fall or so it was announced that the Mayfair was actually going to be torn down and a shopper's drug mart was going to be put up in its place, which is just heartbreaking, which would, would have been a, a sad, sad event. Uh, the neighborhood I live in uh, had an old building that I believe the guys who started the Mayfair several years, or who purchased the Mayfair several years ago, were planning to put a, a repertory cinema in my neighborhood, which would have been fantastic, because it would have been like a three-minute walk from my house. But when they found out that the Mayfair was uh, possibly going to be sold uh, to a developer and, uh, you know, of course, destroyed in the process, they decided to abandon the the uh, purchase of the uh, property uh, in West Wellington and decided to go with the Mayfair, which is great. I mean, I think pretty much everybody who goes to repertory cinema in Ottawa was very pleased to hear that. Long story short of lots of boring paperwork and bank loans and all that kind of stuff, they did it. I was involved just as a fan and a friend, uh, even like early on, like I was here when they were installing the seats and painting the place. The joke was, well, let's ask our number one fan to become a, a partner. And so I kind of, sunk my life savings into it and it was kind of like one of those dreams comes true that you didn't realize was a dream and then I found myself as an owner of my favorite place on earth. So now we live with the Shoppers Drug Mart sitting beside us that would have torn us down and we have a, uh, a heritage, heritage building so that helps a lot and so part of the community in that sense. So it's been you know 2009 through now 2014 and uh, it's been this team running it since then. Mayfair Theatre opened in 1932. For over 80 years now, it's been a movie theatre, which is very rare nowadays. Sadly, more and more so that this is not even a rarity in Ottawa or Canada or North America, but in the whole world. Uh, you can find all kinds of examples online of movie theatres just closing down like crazy. Downtown Core used to have uh, the Somerset Theatre was a single screen theatre. There was a theatre on Elgin. Small mini multiplexes with like two or three screens drive-ins even, all, all kinds of stuff like that. And now it's really down to, uh, at the t at currently, uh, us and the Bytown as theaters in Ottawa. I worry about, um, yeah, I worry about the Mayfair because um, as our viewing habits are changing, we tend to watch more things online now uh, and, um, and people just don't go out to theaters as much anymore. Um, so, you know, why would they think of going to the Mayfair in a sense? Um, but I think their core audience will probably stick around again because the type of uh, films they're showing at the Mayfair, you might not necessarily be able to find out there. And I mean, you can probably find them online, but I think movie watching is a communal experience. I prefer it to be a communal experience, but I think the Mayfair can probably hang on. As I say, they've got a specialized market. They do great programming. And if more people will go out and support it, it will, it will be guaranteed to last. The, the Mayfair is just south of uh, Lansdowne Park, and if you're not from Ottawa, Lansdowne Park for my whole life has been there as a uh, football stadium, a hockey stadium. They do kind of community center things there. When I was a kid, they did comic conventions there. For forever, they've been trying to figure out what to do with it. So in the last little while, they finally, the powers that be finally figured it out and said, we're gonna put these restaurants there, we're gonna put these stores there, and then we're gonna put a, a big multiplex there. I'm not an expert on it, but as far as I understand it, it was, it was going to be Empire Cinemas, and then Empire Cinemas closed down. So then it was Cineplex, but then they kept on going back and forth, so I still don't know. But 
sometime this summer or this fall, there will be a, a big multiplex opening up down the street from the Mayfair. I know there's been a lot of concern about the multi-screen going, going in at Lansdowne. Um, I'm hoping that it won't affect the Mayfair negatively. Um, I, I mean, it's a different kind of uh, beast, the, the one at the multiplex. Um, they're catering to a different audience, uh, people who want to see mainstream films right away. And the, the, the uh, Mayfair really has a niche market, and I'm hoping that they can maintain it. I'm worried that it could affect it negatively, but I'm, I'm hoping not. My, uh, my name is Gary Smith. I'm uh, owner of the uh, Barley Mow Pub here in uh, Old Ottawa South, and we're situated right next door to the Mayfair Theatre. If the Mayfair were to close down, it would, de it would definitely uh, affect my business. We get to, we get people coming in that are just going to the Mayfair Theatre, and I think it would affect uh, um, um, a lot of businesses around here. It, uh, it definitely would. It, it, the Mayfair has an impact around here, so not being here makes a difference. I hope that uh, that the city comes and supports them. If they think that they're in trouble but when the new theaters open, that people come in droves and fill their th theaters so they don't have to uh, have to close up because they'll be messed. In, in a perfect world, you know, I can't lie. Do I want a multiplex opening up next door? No, I would rather it was just the Mayfair and the Bytown in Ottawa, um, but they're opening. I don't want to be negative about it. I don't want to be out there and being like, you know, down with Lansdowne, down with the evil multiplex man. I'm just like, well, they're going to be there. I'm fairly confident that the people ripping tickets and selling popcorn there are not, you know, planning on how to destroy the Mayfair. It's, it's you know, not quite the same analogy, but if, if, if Starbucks and the Glebe can exist down the street from Bridgehead, or if McDonald's on Elgin Street can exist within walking distance of a bunch of different restaurants, uh, I think we can still exist. The only reason the Mayfair is going to close is if we can't afford to keep it open. And none of us are getting rich off this. This is all very much a for the love of the game endeavor. So, you know, this place is here because of Ottawa. The reason why theaters close in other cities is because people stopped going. And that's the, the harsh reality of it. It's amazing that Ottawa has uh, not just the Mayfair, but the Bytown. The Ottawa supports two single screen classic cinemas. Anytime anyone ever begrudges Ottawa, I always get defensive and say, no, there's a lot of cool stuff here and people support it. So uh, I just look forward to continuing to be part of that, continuing to be a part of uh, the Mayfair Theatre and doing cool things in Ottawa.